Hi, my 4B friends. Today, I'm going to teach you how to go on Eras Kids. Now, we've been using Epic in our class to be reading books online. Of course, I want you to keep reading books that are actually in front of you. Always make sure to check out Scholastic online, head out to your library, or maybe take a little trip to Barnes & Noble. If you ever want help picking out a book, you can always ask me, and I'll help you pick out ones that are just right for you. But because we don't have access to all these books, we need things like Epic and now Raz Kids. You might have heard about Raz Kids before, but it's a fun reading game online that has books, quizzes, activities, and you get a character that you can design as you read more books, you earn more points. It's kind of like Prodigy, but for reading, which is fun. Let me show you how to get on. Now, my friends, you know I sometimes post links in the day's class, but I do like to have our 4B links be nice and organized too. If you go up, up, up to the top of the page, you'll find things like Epic or typing practice and all that jazz. Well, I will be adding a new one after I'm done this video and I teach you how to do it in class. That'll say Raz Kids. Now, in Raz Kids, I explain exactly how you can get into it. So you have to log in saying what teacher you have, but just like Epic, it will remember it so you don't have to do it a million times. It will ask you to put in your username, but you'll find it. I have your first initial and then your whole last name. So for example, if you were Declan Ahern, you would be D Ahern, or in my case, Madeline Remitz, M Remitz. And that's what your username will be. Your password, don't tell anyone. Your password is one two, three. So easy, isn't it? That's all you have to do and away you go. Let's get started with the website. Now, here I am on the home page of the website. It wants you to type in your teacher's username. Eventually, it'll have it set up for you where you can just click on this and log in. But you'll have to write M-R-E-M-E-T-Z. It's nice you get practice writing my last name, huh? My first initial uh, just like yours is tacked on to my username too. And then we click go. Now, once we're in here, you can see it has all of your usernames and they have some little buttons, which is kind of fun. I obviously don't have one since I'm the teacher, but you can see here's Declan's and Liam's and Jacob's and Michael's and Nuri's and Noah's. And it goes through our entire class from student one all the way to student 22. So I guess now it's 21. Hmm. I made one for Smokey so that I could show you what it looks like as a student. I click on my name and then I have to type in my password. Your password is one, two, three. And all you have to do is press go after you've typed that. This is the home page. This is the home page that you'll see whenever you log in. It kind of looks like a space patrolling astronaut type thing. Let me see if I can zoom out and make it a little bit easier for you to see everything. There we go. It'll have log out and parent stuff so your parents can log in and hopefully give you some points just like Prodigy. It'll have messages in case I send you some. It'll have your stats, which shows how you grow as a reader. It says, hi, Smokey, welcome to your sna uh, snacks stats. It shows me stars that I've earned and I can spend to make my character look cooler. There's badges that you can get. So if you collect 4,000 stars, you get the super saver. If you read or listen to just one book, you get a prize or a badge, I mean, for having read one book. And there's so many, as you can see here. There's also um, reading stats. So it tells you what level you are on. Right now, Smokey doesn't have a level, so it just says, you know, that's not completed. It'll tell you how many books you read last week versus this week. And my goal is always to have a bigger number of books than last week. We're always growing as readers, right? You can read to books. You can, uh, you can read books, listen to books. Some might have a quiz for you to see if you actually know what you are reading, if that book was just right for you or maybe too hard. And sometimes there might be an activity. I will be giving you some books, but you can always go and look out on your own too. And then there's something called the star zone where you can build your avatar. So here he is, it says avatar go. 
and you can work on what you want your hair to look like. Of course, I don't have stars, so I can't do anything too crazy. Here, we'll give Smokey some hair. Here, let's give Smokey some nice light brown hair. And then you can do clothes. That's kind of a funny outfit. <laughs> he does look like a, um, a robot, though, so it's not surprising that they would give him robot bodies. Here, I'll have him standing. So you can just change this as you go. And look, the more stars you earn, the silly you can have them look or the cooler you can have them look. It's all up to you. There's also Raz Rocket. So if you go on Raz Rocket, it's a fun little game. I'll mute the sound here. You can watch the opening video. Loading, loading, loading. Every day it's loading. Oh my gosh, it's loading. I really hope it doesn't load this much for you. There you go, it's here we are. So here you are in your Raz Rocket. I like to play uh, these games so you can see. You have to earn them though, and, and it says buy, but you don't need actual money for this case. And you can basically just explore and it'll have all the things that you earn here. You can decorate it. It's a fun little building game. Now, of course, this is not all games, right? You do want to practice your reading. Uh, you can just ignore the star donation part. I think that is more for parents. So anyways, if you go back to the home page, we can now get started with our reading. Yay! There is a planet here that's called the Reading Planet. And when you click on it... Hi, friend. <gasps> nice to meet you. I am so excited to become best friends. She's a cupcake. Can you help me with a quick reading task? When you are ready, press go below. Try your best. So just like when you were doing Prodigy, it's going to ask you some questions. So that way it can get you the books that are just right for you. Now I'm going to read this story and then I'm going to answer the question. What will we have to eat? Asked Sam Cat. We will have fish for dinner, said Mama Cat. Fish, 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 said Sam Cat. All we have is fish. Please, please, can I have pizza? No more fish, please, said Sam Cat. What does Sam Cat ask first? Does he ask what will we have to eat? Will we have fish? Can I have pizza? Hmm, I'm going to guess A. And then I would go on to my next question. And it's asking me a couple questions about this. And depending on how I answer, it's going to bring me out at the end of the quiz with my results and it'll place me in a perfect spot for me. I'm going to go ahead and take this quiz so that I don't give you any of the answers. Whoa, great job. That's the same reading level as me. Let's go read some books together. So now that I finished my test, you can see I didn't expect that to happen right away. I was sitting here going, oh. <laughs> says, great job. I got 300 stars just for taking that little quiz at the beginning. It's okay if you had to ask your parents to help you read. Just make sure that even if they help you read something, that you're answering it on your own. Let's go read. Now, there are a bunch of books that are just right for me, and my robot friend helped me pick them out. You can go read all of these, and eventually, it's going to help you move on to more difficult books. If you look here, and I'll zoom in a little bit, if you look here, it'll have the book with the cover on it, and there's going to be some headphones, and there's going to be a book. Now, if you do click on that, it has the option to listen to it, read it, and eventually you might earn the ability to take quizzes. Now, if you listen to it, it will read the book to you, which is fine, but I do like to practice reading on my own. But let's see what it looks like when it listens to us, when, when we listen to the story. Animal Costumes, Ooh. written by Nancy Helen Kessler. See, I can pause it if I want, and when I go to the next page, it'll read it to me. So people wear costumes, animals can wear costumes too. Let's see if it reads it. People wear costumes. Animals can wear 
costumes too. Ooh, do you see how it highlighted each word when I was reading it to me? That way, if this book is a little too hard for me, I definitely have four or five or more fingers up. I can still follow along, use Stretchy Snake, Eagle Eye, all of our reading buddies to figure out the words as it's saying them to me. Now, eventually, I would read through the entire book or I would listen to the entire book. And when I get to the end, ta-da! I got a reward, not only for reading my first book, let's see what else happened. And I got 10 stars. Did you remember seeing when it said listen to 10 and reading to, I think was 20 or 25? Now, Ms. Remus doesn't even remember. Well, depending on what you do, you get your points. Do you remember what we can use our points for? We can use our points to help us grow, uh, buy stuff for our character or for our, ra our, our, what's it called, airship, right? So that's awesome. Our rocket ship can get all decorated and our character can get decorated. If you love this book, you can go ahead and give it a heart so you can always read it again. You've listened to it, so now you can practice reading it on your own or you can take a quiz. The quiz will be on the book that you read. And it says here, what is the book? What is this book mostly about? See, I like that because it reads it to you. Maybe it was about how animals can wear costumes. Animals can wear costumes. It read it to me, so I know that's what it is. And I'll say B, and I can move on to my next question. And when I'm done, I'll get points too. Let's see. Ta-da! Wow, perfect score. Whoa. You know, I wasn't sure, but apparently I got all the questions right. Yay! So I got 150 stars just for taking a short little five-question quiz on the book I was reading. Wow! I can get more points by reading that book, or I can go back to level up. Nice! So now that I've read that book, I have so many other books that I could read, right? And up here it says 58 tasks left. So it has a bunch of tasks that it wants you to do as you're growing as a reader to make sure that you can level up to the next level. Remember I said reading, it's kind of like a game. You unlock words that you know, you unlock harder books, you unlock new skills that you can do, and you say goodbye to your old reading skills. Well, that's what this is going to try and help you do. It'll bring you back if you ever want to go back to the home page. You can see there's assignments from your teacher. The reading room is where we went in to look at all these books. And they have topics if you want, fiction, nonfiction, poem, and music. You can level up by going in here and reading all these books. Remember, by reading these books and getting points, I'll eventually move on up to level E. Woo! And lastly, like I said, there's assignments from Miss Remitz. Oh, look, I gave Smokey a homework assignment. I wanted him to read this story. He can listen to it for points or read it for points, and eventually he'll get that quiz. Sometimes I might want you to read a book for me so that I can make sure that you're reading books that are just right for you. But typically, you'll be spending most of your time in the leveling up room and reading room. Whew. Well, my friends, that was a lot of information to unpack. I apologize if this was a little confusing. You can always watch this video again or sit down with your parents when you first start up your Raz Kids account and see if you can kind of navigate it. They'll be easy. It'll be easier for them to walk you through um, if this video is maybe too hard for you. I'm so excited to see what books you read, how quickly you level up, all those stars that you earn and all the badges you earn. And I can't wait to see how you're doing as readers, you know, what's just right for you, what was a little hard, because since we can't read one-on-one -on -one together, Raz Kids and Epic are the best way for Miss Remitz to see how you grow as a reader and to celebrate it with you. Have an awesome time reading on Raz Kids. Make sure you keep checking out Epic, and I'll see you in class. Bye!